discussions that we've had, the commitments that we've made, really signify that we can safeguard our environment while also including and honoring your tribal traditions. We have witnessed, or as we heard from our elder um, Tuesday morning, Carmen, thank you for your message, that tribes have long been overlooked and sacred sites have been disregarded in the pursuit of development. We also understand that trust has been eroded over the years and we hope to build that and expand our partnership with all of you. The time has passed and we as agencies and decision makers must acknowledge this historical injustice and we all must work together in a spirit of cooperation, respect, and mutual understanding. Today I stand before you with a simple message that I'm sure many of you have heard before. The past is a place of reference. It is not a place of residence. Let us learn from our mistakes of the past and use this knowledge to forge a path forward. Together we can ensure that sacred lands are no longer overlooked and no more environmental harm is done in the name of progress. Together we can create a legacy of cooperation, of respect, and mutual responsibility for the land that we all love. The protection of our environment is not a task that is to belong to any one group. It is a shared endeavor that demands unity and collaboration. We heard you, and we know there were three things that I heard throughout this conference. One is that we need to advocate for increased funding. Two, we need to foster meaningful consultation. And three, we need to proactively convene agencies and decision makers to ensure equitable tribal participation. In your tradition, we find the seeds of wisdom that can guide us towards a more harmonious and sustainable future. Your deep connection to the land and your profound respect for our planet is a beacon for all of us. Let us leave this conference energized and inspired to work together, not just as government employees and as tribal leaders, but as stewards of our land. Together, we can make change working side by side to reach progress together. Thank you all for coming to the conference. I wasn't able to verify, so I just want to ask Erica Pinto, are you here? Did I hear her yell out right here? Okay. So that being said, I don't think Blue Visual is here either. I don't know what to do. Should I just sing a song? <laughs> you know what? Um, I have a poem that I wrote that I think would be nice to share here. It's called genetic memory and i wrote this about the los angeles river um, which we traditionally know as the baile behind the west river um, and i wrote this in a way to help people connect to the land especially in los angeles in a way that they have forgotten how to you know when they see the los angeles river they don't identify it as a river because it's just you know, filled with concrete and it's disgusting and it's really sad. Um, so while I share this poem with you, um, I welcome you to close your eyes and allow yourself to kind of walk with me as I speak about where I'm going in this poem. Do you remember when the groves of oaks provided a way of life? When the fine men behind Los Angeles River flowed clear and drinkable, when salmon flowed upstream through the river, when the grizzly bear ate the salmon and the berries on a beautiful summer day, when the Tongva people paddled in their fresh water boats, when neighbors paddled upstream and downstream to visit, when the fresh water springs were walking distance from home, when the hot water springs were freely shared and cherished, long before houselessness and poverty were ever an idea, long before our water springs were capped off by corporate entities such as Department of Water and Power, long before the grizzly bear was shot to extinction in California, or long before the devastation and invasion of the mission system of Mexico and of America, long before grocery stores and fast food were the main food source, my genetic memory remembers 
when Los Angeles County and neighboring areas were abundant with clean, drinkable water, when cultural maintenance, such as traditional burns, were practiced with connection and love with the earth, when the soil was healthy, when the Tongva people and their neighbors gathered together to sing, laugh, and eat good food for days during ceremony, when one could take a walk outside their home and gather food and herbs directly from the land. You know, I often hear people say, we'll be devastated if the economy collapses. But my genetic memory tells me that the land, the water, the plant people, the animal people, the insect people, and the traditional stewards of the land, the indigenous people, have been and continue to be devastated by the economy. I wish you could have thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Is Erica Pinto here? So this first one we're going to give out, uh, let's see, this is from Jared Yazi, who's the artist, so we'll give you this too. And this looks like it's multi-use, but it looks like a really beautiful scarf or a wrap. So put your winning in the universe, tell the universe to call your name. Okay, here we go, I'm not looking. I want to share that. 
the artist did do. And it's still Jerry Jazzy. Okay. So these are some crew socks from Jerry Jazzy. And a hat that says you are on native land by Urban Native Era. So once again, not looking. I don't have a favorite. All right. Probably mispronounce your last name too, but we got Chris Cleveland. He's not here? All right. Is he in the bathroom though? Should I put it aside? Uh, I understand. I'm going to take these ones out. Okay. Please, please be here. Please be here. Bruce Durbin. Okay, so this is um, this is a 
really beautiful starter basket piece, and it looks like it's made out of juncus and deer grass, and then it's surrounded with apple. Tiffany, did you put your badge in? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm going to put it in the Okay, here we go. Tracy Harper. Natalie Solaris is here. This one, I'll just let y'all know I'm a massage therapist and I do trade work. I also offer hypnotherapy. So this one is from Jamie Akuma. And the winner is Erin Taylor. Thank you. 
in here. So this one is from Louis Gong, is the artist for this one. Another chance for trade work. And this one's for Kimberly Miller. Kimberly here? All right. I wouldn't say the walk of shame, but you're getting a really beautiful basket or a beautiful blanket. So this is going to be a set. I got to take this out because y'all. I actually have this in pink and purple. And let me just tell you, this woman is talented. And her name is Mayo Marufo. <laughs> Mio, I didn't get to meet her personally, but I'm grateful I won them. So these are acorn earrings, and this is an acorn necklace. I mean, another opportunity for trade work going on, you guys. I mean, my hypnotherapy is amazing. Just saying. And my massage therapy, let me tell you, I've been doing it for 20 years, so call me the golden elbows. Okay, and then it's also this painting here, so they're going together. Here you go, good luck to y'all. There's no last name, so there could be three of you in here. Alexis? There's only one Alexis, guys. Oh, 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 oh,
tell you uh, one thing one time. One time I was building one of these things, and uh, I had my eyes closed, and I was singing, man, and I opened my eyes, and shoot, I was way over here singing. <laughs> Black wheels? Uh, yeah. So this it's was right um, now, was the only yesterday. one in this category. Yeah, yeah. So Were you here late last night? Unfortunately, to be winning $100 at San Diego. Yeah. And this is from Carson <laughs> you, Loveless. You, you passed me. I was in a white Mustang. And I was like, when you passed me, I was like, oh, that looked like the guy that I was just on the casino. Like, was I driving? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one, because it's a yeah, that was, I was like, I remember I see my Okay. And this oh, my one is um, from Ray Sixth Age, and this person was Age 10, Billy Sivers so and Zolid. So you were sitting in there when I was walking out to the parking lot and I took off. Oh, okay. And, uh, shortly after that. I love the glitter. I go along with glitter. And this one is from grade thir three to fifth grade. Um, age eight is Talon. Talon. It looked like Talon, but you know these days. I used to work construction, and there was a, a guy who um, owned a business that I worked with him, and he would call me Jisa. And I'm like, it's Jessa, folks. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is um, K through second grade, so we've got Amuet Sanchez, age seven. So they will all be getting their hundred dollars shipped to them, these lucky, beautiful winners. And y'all, that's it. That wraps it up. You guys made it in four days. Um, also, I do want to share, um, we had said there was 500 people. Well, we're going to correct that now. It was 565 people who came to participate in person. And it was 84 participants that participated in virtual. So, yeah, you guys showed up and showed out, and I hope you had a good time and enjoyed the food and each other's company. And like my brother said, you know, travel home safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.